Hey guys, I'm back with another Arch Hyperland install and this time it's an improved installer which you can use to any computers, any GPU and it has a better and easier setup especially for those computers equipped with NVIDIA GPU. As I mentioned in my intro, this installer is an improved installer and you can use this to any systems, whichever GPU you have. However, I cannot guarantee on an Intel GPU because I don't have. However, based from what I have my searchings, the Intel GPU, Intel Arc GPUs, they are all just using the Mesa open source Mesa drivers, so it should work. Uh, fine with it same as NVIDIA AMD uh, GPUs for NVIDIA it's part of the installing script previously I asked you guys to do a lot of crazy stuff and um, based from the feedback and based from my research that's not really necessary to do that um, but it might help and however I did include it on my installer some things for NVIDIA like blacklisting the Novo or or adding a um, NVIDIA mod set uh, equals one through um, uh, on through the mod probe and so on and so forth and you can use this installer on any existing Arch based uh, Linux system like Arco Linux, Endeavor um, arch scrap and so on however i'd like to highlight that manjaro linux which is again also based from arch may not work just because manjaro some of their packages they're using a different package especially for users of um, or manjaro users which have a nvidia DV gpu and I cannot guarantee you that and I cannot support you that because uh, like I said Manjaro has a different way to set up things especially their kernel so I cannot guarantee you that however you can use it as a guide only and you can install manually on the NVIDIA part and then you can just copy the config if you want it and as you can see in here I, have, I am testing it on an Endeavor OS XFCE and I'm happy to tell you that it works just fine I also removed the I also removed the um, XFC login manager which is the light DM but on the script I did not this I did not uh, uninstall that I just disable it so at least if you choose the SDDM and then it will just mask not mask it will just disable the light DM so the SDDM will boot it uh, first before the or not instead of the light DM because I don't think light DM it supports or it detects the uh, Wayland sessions like the Hyperland and then um, for the next part of the video is just showing about the installation of the Arch Linux um, manually or from the scratch using the Arch install and for those of you who are not interested to watch that one and for those of you who would uh, only am curious on how the installer you can skip to the part where I talk about the or where I install the installer and when I talk about the installer itself Starting installing Arch Linux from the beginning then um, I would assume that you have already booted on your USB I'm not gonna talk about downloading and then burning it on a USB and so on if you need an assistance you can check out my other video now the first thing that we need to do is of course make sure that the internet is connected if your computer is already connected through LAN then you can skip this process but for those of you who want to connect on through the Wi-Fi you can use the command IWCTL then once you have done that, you can uh, connect to the Wi-Fi using um, first is the device list to get the name, which is always WLAN0 as you can see on the left. So station WLAN0 
uh, get networks and then type in the station wlan0 connect and then to the network you wanted to connect so here i'm gonna connect to my internal yes and then type in your password let me just type my password and it's accepted and as you can see also on the beside the network that i'm trying to connect there is an arrow on the left of it that means it's already connected at this point you can just exit clear by typing control l and then you can verify the connection the using using ping and sending three packets to arslinux.org as you can see i'm getting a feedback which is good and then another which is not really necessary but it's always a good idea is to update the um, key ring by typing pacman dash key space dash dash init and then pacman dash key dash dash populate <coughs> So it's already updated and before running the arch install what i would like to do is also uh, edit the pacman.crnf which is located on it slash etc slash pacman.crnf to get a color and to get the parallel downloads and then also adding the i love candy clear Control L, and then once you do that, um, you can just type in Arch install. <coughs> okay, so now in the Arch install, I can go. I can go through this quickly. I'm just gonna keep the English as a. I never really checked this. Oh, so there's other option. Okay. And then keyboard layout, I'm just going to keep at the US. Mirror region, I would suggest to a region which is close to you or which is a country you are at the moment. And since I'm in South Korea, I'll just choose South Korea. Local, I'm just going to use look this uh, default. Drives, then I'm at this installation, I'm going to wipe my whole uh, internal drive. Now, if you need to dual boot, I have I'm, I created made a video of this. If you want to customize the your um, drives, then you can do so. I have also same on the Arch install or the dual boot, where I talk about the division of the drives. And I'm formatting here, as you can see. The other second one is my USB, and the first one is my internal drive. This layout, I'm gonna wipe it all and this time i'm gonna use uh, btrfs and then i will use the default btrfs sub volumes and then also the i would like to enable the compression this encryption i'm gonna i'm not gonna add any encryption here boot loader i'm just gonna right now keep it as system d you can also choose grub if you wish this swap um this zira i'm gonna also keep it name I'm just gonna change to hyperland since later on I'm gonna install I hyperland root password I'm just gonna keep it disabled and then I'm gonna add my username and then type in my complicated password oops and then yes I would like it to be a um, sudo word profile when you are installing a of course the the hyperland you can just choose the minimal here audio i will choose the pipe wire it's just way better and newer kernel i'm gonna choose linux zen here now the kernel if you are on an on an nvidia or or, or a system equipped nvidia just choose uh, one kernel only because if you choose one or two kernels the nvidia package 
it needed a uh, headers and by default the arch install script is only creating um, 550 megabytes or so and if you have a two kernels in there and then you also you cannot install two linux headers in there so just choose one and then stick to that if you need to increase you can check out my dual boot video where i discuss about this so i'm just gonna choose uh, linux zen additional package i'm just gonna add uh, git and one um, inst um yeah one uh, editor vim you can use also nano if you want okay i'm just gonna add nano or if you want neo vim also you can do that but for this i just want git and then at least one uh, text editor network configuration i would highly suggest the network manager it's just e way easier time zone you can just type in your or using the forward slash to search and then to choose your ct sometimes it's actually accept and if not you can just choose the uh, country or not country the continent and then uh, choose but most of the time let me try to type korea no so it's a main city so automatic i'm gonna keep it as automatic time sync and then multilib this is a 32 bit so don't be mistaken and i'm just gonna enable it since i also use my system for gaming and then uh, if you want to save configuration i really don't know where to save this to be honest i never done that but let me just check now save configuration um, save all enter a directory i don't know <laughs> nothing <laughs> anyway okay at this point i'm just gonna install and then press enter to continue now this may take some time depending on your internet speed um, so just let it let it run and then uh, you can go uh, grab a coffee cup of tea and just let it run again if you are using a if you are using a laptop then make sure that you have power plugged in and you have a lot of batteries because if let's say the ooh, what happened there oh, if let's say that uh, the system is turned off then you might get into a lot of troubles you might lose a lot of data and so on and so forth okay i'll be back okay so once you reach this point you can just say no here and i know that i have mentioned before in my previous videos that for nvidia we need to do a lot of things and so on and so forth at this time you don't have to do that because it will be automatically done by the installer so i'm just gonna reboot here <clears throat> all right so now i'm booted into my um, newly arch installed ignore this uh, bluetooth because it's just an error to my bluetooth nothing wrong in here you may not get this so you just type in your username and then of course password clear so at this point you need to make sure that you have a internet first so you can download the uh, repo and also it will it will install the hyperland and for those of you who wanted to connect to in wi-fi you since we have downloaded or installed earlier the network manager we can use the command nmtui to bring up this uh, nice uh, gui and then i'm gonna choose activate connection and then oh it's already connected no it should not be connected anyway if you need to, ch to choose then you can choose um, in here and then type in your password so since that i have already oh no it's not connected there you go anyway connected clear so once you have connected to your wi-fi or once you have connected to your internet you can verify first again same it's always better to verify uh, arch verify your connection first before proceeding 
same command as earlier, ping dash uh, c, this dash c3 is sending three packets to artsinux.org. All right, good, I have internet connection. And then again as earlier, I would like to edit first the slash etc pacman.com. So, do, so since I download VM earlier, pacman.cnf, and of course need to type in my password. Oh, so it automatically updated or it automatically copied over the pacman.cnf, which is good. All right, so at this point, we need to download the uh, repo. I can use the command git clone or actually need to make sure that you are in a or your system is in in uh, in your home directory or directory wherein you can create command so for example here you can just type in normally just cd then it will default back to your home folder and then i need to clone the uh, repo git clone for two forward slash uh, github dot com forward slash capital J A capital K double O capital L I T forward slash and then no, capital H P R hyperline V2. <laughs> I don't want to keep changing. I, I know I use a especially first when I use a complicated. Uh, name before anyway need to change to that directory and then uh, list as l so you just need to enable first the uh, executable on this file chmod plus x install dash hyperland and then once that done you can verify by checking again as you can see it turns to green and then to run the command that forward slash install dash hyperland. Now what this do is um, see in here is warning you that you need to back up your files first. However, on this script, I will try to um, back up your files or at least the files, the folders on your dot config folder where I need to to um, to uh, copy my um, configs and then uh, some commands here requires you to enter your password if you are worried about it um, you can always cancel and then check of course the script and then i put a little note here saying that if you are installing a, on a virtual machine like the virtual box vmware or the kimu kbm, KBM just ensure that you have the 3D acceleration enabled. However, the performance of the Hyperland in, in um, virtual is just, um, like I said here, abysmal, worse as best. It works, however, it's so slow and the cursor is even um, inverted ups and downs. I don't know about VMware. I don't know about VirtualBox because I'm using also AKMU KBM. So just a little note here. And then, of course, if you want to proceed, then go ahead. If not, then just press no. And I'm going to choose yes here. And then this is one of the things that I would like to highlight. Um, it's asking you if you want yay or paru. Now, if you have already any of these two or even two of these, it will skip this process because it detects that there is an AUR helper, yay or paru, because this script, you just need one um, is AUR helper so since I like Peru I'm just gonna choose P here and another thing is if you type in a different letter as you can see in here it doesn't accept so you need to type in either Y or P so I'm using I'm gonna choose P here and what it this what this does do is installing or downloading the Peru dash bin and then it's gonna install it for you if you choose the yay it will download and install the yay dash bin mm. my internet is a little bit slow today okay then next part is it's um, performing an an um, 
full system update and then this one it's automatically detects if you have nvidia if you have nvidia then it will install a uh, nvidia hyperland uh, git here the package called nvidia hyperland package if you choose no here it will just download and install the normal hyperland so it's okay you can choose this but since i have a nvidia in here then i'm gonna choose uh, yes as you can see here it's inst installing the hyperland nvidia git and then the first part actually it's uh, just might take some time especially if you are installing it from scratch if you are installing on a system where there's already hyperland in there it will check if the package is already installed or not if it's if it detects that the necessary packages that i said is already installed then it will it will just skip that because it come back that it's already been installed so this might take some time and don't worry at later on stage uh, it will ask you some steps it's just not it will not just install um, anything but at least the first part it will install the necessary packages which i needed for the um, that files or the config files for the system okay i'm just gonna fast forward the video here okay i'm just resuming in here as you see in here it also auto trying it will install it will automatically detect the your linux if you are on nvidia and it will install the necessary package here and it only supports by the way the linux kernel linux zen linux lts and linux harden any other than that custom kernel i'm sorry it won't detect won't detect so make sure if you have any video make sure that you have the necessary uh, headers first before using this and then you can just skip the later on for the NVIDIA part you can just say no because it will just skip that process all right so at this point as you can see in here it's uh, added the options um, mod set equals one nvidia drm mod set one to the uh, mod probe because it's necessary and then uh, it will also ask you if you want to blacklist the no noveo and noveo is is uh, well known to make it black screen so this time i must i would say yes in here and then it's gonna carry on and then it will install the necessary packages as you can see in here it will install then it will give a message uh, highlighted in green and if there is an error it will highlight in uh, in red and then also it creating a install lag so it will be easier for you or for me or for us to, de to, to debug uh, later on okay so now the first part is um, installed or actually not the first part but the main packages are already installed now it i made a now i i added on the install script here the uh, Capuchin uh, gtk mocha team and cursor this is all entirely up to you it's optional but i'm just gonna uh, go ahead and uh, choose to install in here and then later on it will also ask you if you want to install the bluetooth and e also the tuner if you don't want tuner as your file manager and then also the um and so on and so forth all right so now the capuchin gtk team has already been installed now this is again i said optional if you don't want uh, tuner then it, you can just install um, file manager if you want but um, since it's part and I use tuner so I'm just gonna choose say uh, yes in here and then uh, of course once that's done then I'm gonna also install the it will ask you if you want to install the Bluetooth packages and it will activate also the services if needed 
I'm just going to choose yes in here. And then again, this is optional. Uh, if you want to use the SDDM as a login manager, if you have a GDM or light DM uh, and so on, uh, mind you that it, by installing this, so let me just press yes, mind you that um, if you choose to install in here, it will not it will not uh, remove the GDM or the light DM. It's just uh, removing it from service and then just using the SDDM as your login manager. And I also choose a uh, Katpuchin um, Teams for the SDDM. Doesn't, it's not really that pretty. However, I still prefer than the stack uh, SDDM. So since this is an SDDM Git package, and also if you have a, if you have a uh, SDDM already installed, it will automatically detect. However, it cannot remove automatically, so you have to manually intervene. And I set it up that way that it will ask you if you want to remove the SDDM, and you can just. Uh, choose no or yes but if you choose no then it will not install the uh, sddm git or and also the mocha team just so you know okay at this point of time um, it will ask you if you want to install the asus rog software it's this is entirely optional and it's only for rog laptop since i have the uh, asus uh, rog laptop then i'm gonna choose yes in here this might take some time. This is installing the ASUS CTL and then also the uh, um, Super GFX D and also the ROG uh, software. And again, like I said, this is entirely optional. You don't have to install this one. It will just, Hyperland will just work just fine. Or even the script and even the dot files will work just fine. All right, so at this point, ignore this uh, message there you see is on top you can see here in the question would you like to disable uh, Wi-Fi power save so I'm just gonna choose yes in here and as you can see that it's um, downloading not downloading it's copying some files and creating some configuration files to disable the Wi-Fi power save and at this point it's now asked now this is one of the things that I would also like to highlight and this is also optional. XDG Portal Hyperland is not really necessary for the Hyperland to work. This is only if um, you need for screencast or that's the OBS screen recording and sometimes also screenshot. Now in my experience the WLR will just work just fine. However, um, claim by um, developer of the Hyperland that this one is will have some additional features so again if you choose yes in here then it will download and install the um, XDG desktop portal Hyperland and then later on it will ask you if you want to remove the other XDG implementations as you can see in here now one thing that I would like to highlight is for KDE users, you cannot actually remove because the XDG desktop portal KDE because it's embedded into the system. You cannot remove it. But for GNOME, I believe you can remove because I tested also on GNOME. I tested on XFCE. I tested on KDE. This installer, so it it can remove. It will try to remove. So at this point, it will. Um, will ask to remove it will try to remove the other except for KDE okay now at this point if you would like to copy the um, config files and the wallpaper files you can choose no in here if you don't want the config but of course this is just copying the config files from our hyperland and then it's now we are now the last part can see here installation complete and then notice two nvidia owners kindly reboot your system it's kindly reboot <laughs> i will rename this it's supposed to be kindly reboot your system 
and then if you didn't install the sddm you can just um, type in capital h hyperland same as this one and since i have a um, nvidia and i choose the sddm then i'm just gonna choose no in here and then manually reboot my system Now if you choose SDDM here and this is how it looks and the first thing is of course you need to type in the um, your username just because this is and then of course type in your password and it should put there you go so it put just fine okay so now i'm just gonna do a quick um, overview of my system now or the config and on the left is just the workspace the this is the cpu um, and then by clicking it then you should be able to get a nice um, uh, changes and then beside that one click again uh, to close and then beside that one is the temperature and then of course the um, RAM and then this is the weather so by clicking it then you should get also this one it should automatically detect your location and if you click on right click right, right click on this then VTAP should automatically launch That's the um, tem temperature and then the RAM as well. No. And then beside here, in here, you have the little penguin. This is like a start menu. It will launch the Wofi. Click again to close. Then you have the clock. And if you see, if you just uh, um, hover, hover it, you will get this um, calendar right clicking it then it's only uh, defaulting to month then if you want to just click it then you will get the whole uh, time so i'll talk about this later on and then of course system tray and then my power if i disconnect now Then you can see in here that is also give you an option and that option it will give you a time to empty then in here is this um, up the uh, brightness you can just arrow up and down and then of course the volume and then the mic you can also increase or decrease if you click the either of these two it will mute and then beside on the last one of on that one is the um, w lag out so if you click it then you will get the w lag out now this picture wallpaper here this is the thing that i have integrated if you click it then you can choose any of these two now this if you want to customize you can customize i made a video of it i'm just i will put it on the description so let's say uh, i want to choose the hong kong there you go it will change the wallpaper for you and also of course that's the random if you want also random only right click then you will get that uh, wallpaper chains and then middle click this will change the way bar style as you can see here on the top middle click then you get this uh, wallpaper no, not sorry not wallpaper the way bar style in which i have pre-created it 
and there are four styles and you can choose any of this anyway you will ask me it's the same layout what's the difference uh, this is the one thing let's say you don't want this style you can just right click on the penguin and then you can choose in here the plasma style which it will change to the bottom of the bar and then if you choose uh, if you click then the D menu will also um, uh, pop up now unfortunately if you click it again it will not close so in order to close it just press escape or once you launch a an app that's for example say food then it will automatically close now let me just try the NVIDIA settings there you go so it's installed and then one thing here is I added this this is a updater updating so once you click it it will ask for your password and this will automatically check for necessary update if there is an update then it you will get the notification on this area this one thing and then if you don't want this style again you can right click on the penguin genome style now I try to imitate of course the genome <laughs> but you can't really get it and as you can see in here I added the Wi-Fi module on this style and then of course the workspaces here and then the clock then the um, weather here system tray and that's about it so if let's say you don't like this and you don't want bar at all you can just choose number four no panel this will kill all this will send a command to kill all the way bar it doesn't really stop so once you reboot your system again it will um, it will pop up based from the last configuration so once that one is done and you will ask how can I launch it back you can actually choose press Windows or Windows key or super alt W then you will choose you can choose the default again for changing the way bar the wallpaper you can choose a you can use the command or the key binds uh, super control w then it will pop up and ask you to choose different pass um different sorry different um wallpaper if you want a different waiver style you can choose a, a super shift w and that should change the waiver style now again you'll ask me how can I remember all this based on the video don't worry you need help so first letter from the help is H so press super H then it will pop up this small how to or tips and tricks that I have created uh, on this now mm, I have tried to add as much as I can in here but if I remember to add more then I will add more in here so as you can see you can reach me on my um, discord you can leave a message down below if you need the help I will try to assist as much as I can although I cannot really guarantee sometimes because sometimes I will be busy in the next couple of days so the uh, super key is the windows key and then coupon operation is the super H key this document and then super return which is the enter it will launch the foot terminal there to close it to quit you can press the sub super Q and then 
if you want to launch the Warfim large now this depending on the layout that you choose not the Warfi large the default Warfi so super T then you get this uh, Warfi menu super D again to close if you want to have the big menu then super shift D and you got this little bit wider menu and you can close again with super shift D way bar or styling it's styling stuff as I mentioned earlier this is the super the W super shift W and so on and then right click on the way bar module right click on right click to update the word module this is the wait i think i have to add in here right click to update way bar ah if you want only the wallpaper cycle using the sway bg you can right click where is now this one right click then as you can see it changed the wallpaper using this way bg no not that one right click to update waybar module uh, hold on ah right click update waybar module so since i don't have a update module here so let me just change to gnome style for example then i have here the um, update module right click then it will just change using the sway bg this is no animation and then later on you can just choose or add any additional wallpapers if you need i will talk about that later how you change that one and then uh, to change permanently the um, wallpaper you can do so by editing this file let me just edit that one to show you uh, i installed vm so oops sorry i forgot to add this yeah So you can choose and change this um, this part in here. Now initially, of course, I changed. Uh, I have copied some of the wallpapers on the hyper. Previously, I made it. I made it, copied it to the wallpapers on the picture folder. But this time, I just uh, decided to put it there. And then. Um, to for the wallpaper and style i made a video of it you can watch um, on it screenshot this should work so super super screenshot as you can see here it's saved on let me just choose the oh i forgot the yeah anyway so screenshot here Why it's not holding? Yep. Uh, we'll, we'll change the look here later. And then you can you can again see in here if needed. And then to close this document, you can press Super Q or press Super Shift Q. What is this LL? <laughs> I will remove that one. Don't worry. Anyway. So if you don't like this look, and uh, for example this, you can choose the NW bin. So that's the NW. Let's just uh, launch the big menu. So NW bin. So you can see in here the uh, GTK settings. So I choose earlier the. Uh, Capuchin themes, so I like actually this Mabu Veo on this little bit um, darker, but 
easier on the eyes of course you can change also whichever you prefer and then the icon theme i didn't add anything it's by default still at vita you can change this you can download mouse cursor is of course same this move Mave, Mayube, and font. By the way, this one is a little bit small. If you have a uh, laptop which has an HDI, HIDPI, you can just increase this to 1.25. And as you can see, now it looks readable, it looks, looks a little bit better. And then for the QT apps, you can choose the QT set here, QT5 settings. Mm. Fonts, let me just change the fonts. So Fantask, I like the Fantask. And then um, change this. So now we can change also the fix width to Fantask and then 14 and then click apply. And this should, oh, I forgot to. Then you can change to darker. and then icon themes and so on and so forth all right i believe this should be the end of the video if you if you like the video no okay if you need the insistence again just pressing ctrl h not ctrl h sorry super h then you will launch this here and then you can add me on the discord you can message me in discord uh, there's also a discord in here and server that I admin you can reach me in there and then um, if you like the video please like it and share it if you don't like the video please let me know what you don't like um, instead of just clicking the dislike and then not letting me know what's what you don't like because then I can improve and then also if you have any suggestions if you are having issues then you can of course open an issue on the uh, github on my github uh, page and then also i will try to sort out and then also if you if there's any suggestion that you want oh and if you have any suggestions uh, please do let me know again again thank you for watching take good care guys and for those of you who haven't subscribed please subscribe and thank you guys for watching have a good day bye